Yes, um, Srinivas ji. Good morning, Didi. Am I audible, Didi? Yes, you are audible. We uh, she passed very long back. Something happened. Suddenly, uh, it will come come into our mind and uh, that remembrance. So memory. Uh, we will have that uh, memorize those uh, past actions, and we feel sometimes it uh, even though it was happened long back, but uh, we feel that it would uh, be happened uh, just uh, in the uh, yesterday or like so. So why it is, uh, I feel like that uh, sometimes a uh, long back in my childhood something happened. I could uh, recollect and uh, that memory will come into my mind and I feel uh, that what happened just recently, uh, even though it is long back, sometimes I feel like that. It is, is it, uh, how, why the such type of uh, feelings will arise in the mind and uh, some situations uh, will come into the mind, uh, memorize, mind will memorize. But uh, why that uh, uh, situation come into the picture in my mind? Uh, what will be the reason? Suddenly it will come, even though I am not thought of uh, those situations sometimes. <laughs> yes, it seems that way. But there is something significant in that, which is why we are recalling it. No, even though there is us. no much significance on, on those, uh, those occasions. No, you uh, may not be able yeah. to see that significance. Achha. But if something happened years ago, now for instance, uh, that time what you are saying, that something you recall that happened years ago, that yeah. day what kind of food you ate, you may not recall. Isn't it? Yes. But supposing it was a special day, it was your birthday and something special was made that day, perhaps you might recall. Yes. 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 So whatever yes. you think is significant, you recall that. But whatever you think is not significant for you, you don't recall it. Now why it is significant that you have to try to see. Somebody no. said something. But yeah. Uh, some some activity happened that uh, was important for you. Something that you have taken note of, therefore you are recalling. And so and important was, thing in that will be to try to see the feeling. Yes. Because somewhere that will be your link to why you were recalling it. Yes. And if you are feeling, say you have some discomfort when recalling. You have a feeling of opposition when recalling. There may have been something somebody said or something in your experience with that connected to that activity which has disturbed you. Therefore, you are recalling it. Some trigger may have happened outside because of which you are recalling. Like something simple, I'll tell you. Like maybe you are walking down the street. Hmm? Yes. And you suddenly see, say, an individual that you don't know, you see coming from that side, far away, yes. from the opposite side. And yes. by the way that person is walking, it reminds you of somebody you know. And that yes. somebody you know, you haven't met for years, but you last met in a, say, an event. 10 years back. Now seeing this person now, it has triggered that memory in you that such and such person I saw 10 years back. Now yes. you may drift yes. into that memory, yes. but you may not be aware that it was because you happened to see this person coming forward. It may not be the same person, but it may have reminded you of somebody in that interaction 10 years ago. So you start recalling that. Yes. And now you drift into that memory. But a lot of times, if we are you know, more aware, we can find out why we drifted into a certain memory. It helps to write down also some of these things. When we were doing this exercise one, observing the self yes. by the self, yes. we were trying to do this, no? to try to see where the thoughts are going. Try to note down how 
the thoughts drift from one place to another to another one moment you are thinking of this place next moment you may be thinking of something else third moment you may be thinking of something else yes like you are waiting for say a friend to come and meet you and it's you know the time that you decided to meet that time is up you are waiting that the friend has not come now you might start thinking of how this friend has not come before also in time and the previous time and the previous yes. time. now you start recalling all this yes yes and you yes. drift into that so like yeah. that something might trigger in the outside world now yes. but then we drift back into those memories so that we'll have to see we'll have to become more aware to see what is happening why we are thinking of something yes sir yes. and also sometimes i feel suppose the somebody i may meet uh, uh, even though i uh, in, in in this but i uh, don't have uh, been met him uh, any time but i feel sometimes maybe in the past uh, last but i might have met uh, so that uh, the feelings which will uh, make me to feel like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah we will not go into past life and all right now no, no, we no, have no, enough work to do to try to see what is happening sometimes in uh, we feel meet people such kind of people uh, we, our feelings are entirely different and uh, somewhat uh, very uh, nice uh, like also without to meeting him before any time so that why uh, that happen i can't, don't know but i feel that maybe in the last but some connections are there Like See, even before we go into last birth, we can first look at you know, are we aware of everything that we are thinking when we meet no. somebody? No, no. There is a book called the Blink, Blink. 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 Okay. Are What they are talking about is in the blink of an eye. Yeah. So much information we gather. Yeah. From the outside, we may not be aware. Yes. i can relate to it because uh what he is talking is like suppose like i can uh, see for myself in that situation like if you know as a doctor yes patients used to come to see us see me yes yes sir yes children, children yeah, and yeah. parents yeah now the clinic door opens and the person walks in Yes. with the child yeah you are observing how the person is walking you are observing the child you are observing when they come and sit down in that much time you can make out lot of things about that person that's yes you can make out what the child may be having the problem sometimes you can make out you know how the mother feeling is right now so many yes. things you can make out yes sir and all this you are observing and it is just a few seconds from the time the door opens and the child and the mother come and sit at your desk yes. but yes. you have already found out many things yes. isn't it yes yes so we are all doing this all the time yeah and so you may many of those things may be somewhat similar to how you do things your opinions yeah. may be matching with those people yes therefore Correct. you might feel some affinity towards them yes. so let's not go back to past life right now let's look at what we can observe now yeah because yeah. many things we may be observing but we are not aware of yes yes and that might be the cause of why we feel close to them because somewhere we see some similarity yeah but ultimately we have to see that these opinions these you know thoughts there will be a lot of variety and different people may have different opinions yes. and so on but yes, as we go start you know uncovering the higher activities within us and especially when we go up to the natural acceptance yes. we will observe that we are all similar yeah and ultimately we do have a relationship with all yes so now 
you know it will be like you will feel for everybody yeah so ultimately yes. we have to get there but yes yeah. what you are saying is true that you know in the beginning you may have certain affinity for some people and you may not be aware why you are doing it or why you feel closer to them but it will be good to observe this also yes yes mm. yes but whether significant or insignificant we cannot recognize uh, what i feel but what i think uh, but uh, while coming to the feelings uh, uh, are uh, remembering past uh, situations uh, that is significant or insignificant we don't without knowing uh, we are getting that uh, significant events only in our memory or yeah getting means what we are only recalling no when you say yeah. getting it seems like somebody else is putting it in us yeah 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 but if you see only when something is significant you recall like that thing i asked you what you ate 10 years back you don't recall unless it was something very special something very unique something very different to yes, stand yes. out yes see what happens is the way we generally do is that if something is um if if we are observing many things and they are all in line we tend to pick out what is not matching or what is not in line and we tend to recall that have you noticed that yeah yeah like, yeah okay. like uh, say you know um in a big city which is like full of buildings and all you don't see any plants or trees yes 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 but the moment you come out of this you see some one or two plants and you notice them yes but if there is a you know every day there may be all kinds of plants around but we may not notice them so something yes. sometimes something that stands out as different that we tend to notice yes but that ability to recall is there for everything it is just that what is important to me what i notice what i become aware of that i tend to recall yes and if it is significant enough and particularly i may not have been aware but some feeling whether it be a strong feeling of relationship strong feeling of opposition whatever the feeling may be yes that must be significant for me to recall it now yeah because so if it is just thoughts i may not recall but yes. if it is some feeling associated <laughs> with it then i might recall yes 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 have it if you see even the people who talk of you know um, trying to build the memory and this and that to try to recall they yeah. say that you associate something with some you know whatever you are reading whatever you want to recall yes. as memory try to yes. associate it with something that you already yes. know or you already there also you will notice that where your feeling is involved you tend to yes. retain more <laughs> like this thing i was mentioning no that you are eating something every day you don't have any um, particular recall of that yeah but some day something special was made and you are remembering more than what was made you may be recalling the memory of how you felt that day yes while eating so you may have felt very happy it was something special something that makes you recall that yes that we can try to become aware of this yes one more minute can i spend um okay if it's something quick there are a couple more yeah yeah uh, because one only one thing uh, we met our uh, uh, one uh, group sir he is uh, he was uh, 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 well, once uh, he is uh, he was head of the our department in the beginning of the institute yeah, that is 95 to 2000 he was head of the department now his age is uh, class 90 we 
we all together at that time when we worked with him we all together were to went to meet him and greet him but he could not recognize uh, only he recognized one or two uh, colleagues uh, remaining all he could not recognize but he saying uh, i could uh, uh, remember you well uh, those whom he recognized but others he is not uh, he could not remember so he he simply saying uh, i am unable to remember you people only two of the colleagues he could remember yeah, yeah. that is uh, f- some physiochemical action in the body purely not related to self or see uh, once you bring in you know age and the body now the yeah. body will go through this process of degeneration also yes after a certain age so if yes. you are saying somebody who is 90 years old the brain may be damaged yes so that ability to recall may be hampered yes. but this part about the self is also very significant so in the self if the person has associated say a particular person as being uh say somebody who was a very good student and this person had a uh, special you know good feeling for that student that person yes. may recall so yes. like what you are mentioning you know, so yes. many people he could recall two of them yes so like that we will notice for ourselves if we see for ourselves we will be able to understand for others also yes that yes we also tend to recall like this no yeah there is a crowd yeah. of people but you feel some connection to one person you recall that person out of the whole crowd yes yes right. so like yes. that yeah yes, yes. thank you thank you thank you